Hey YouTube, what's going on? Uh, Weird Rips here again. Uh, I want to do another quick review of a new little toy that I just got here. Let's see if I can get her up here. Uh, this bad boy right here. I think it's a Crossman. Crossman? Yeah. It's a Crossman G1 Extreme with a center point. Oh, what is this? A 4x32 millimeter scope. Four powers, fixed scope. Uh, I got it the other day. It was my 18th birthday. My brother bought me a bought this for me. Um, we have had a lot of Pelagons in the past. Watch your face. And, uh, this is by far the best. This might be the, my favorite thing. Favorite thing I've bought in this year. I bought a new Durango, too. This has got to be my favorite thing. <laughs> but, um, now this thing is accurate as a fucker. If you want a good gun, I paid a hundred bucks at this, for this at Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, and this is probably the best thing I've ever purchased there. I bought this in a machete. <laughs> but um, this thing pumps out uh, 1,200 feet per second. This thing is deadly. We scoped this thing in. Um, first sighted it at 10 yards and moved it back. And we were hitting 50 yards of this thing, no problem. With uh, I think we were using PBA ammo, which is the Raptor ammo. So it's it shoots faster, bumps it up because it's gold-plated. You're pushing more around 16, 1,600 feet per second with those. Um, yeah, I just want to show you a few different kinds of ammo we went with. Uh, let me see here. Oh, that doesn't fall. Let's see. We got the ammo right here. This is what we got for the ammo. I can't turn the light on here. This is what we got for different ammo. This one right here, that's a, they call these Palmer tips. Those, they do some good work. They're not very accurate. Um, they're, I find that they're weighted differently. A lot of the pellets, they really don't shoot consistently. Uh, this is a just a standard hunting tip from Crossman. That gold one is the PBA ammo. And then that one on the end is a flat tip. From from what we've done for the shooting, we've, we've gone and we shot 40 squirrels in two days with this thing, doing a little bit of pest control. And I mean, I'm not talking about out of the backyard. I mean, full cam open the woods, sitting around and walking around and stuff, jumping stuff up. And out of the, all the chipmunks we shot, um, I found out that these flat tips are probably the best. These little, uh, they're called competition tips. It's these right here. Um, my friend told me that that's what I should go with as far as hunting. Um, the PBA ammo is fast. It uh, breaks a sound barrier. You get the, the crack of like a 22. It sounds just like a little 22 going off with those little PBA ammo. Those right there, those gold ones. The flatheads, I mean, they're accurate, but... I mean, they're just too pointy, I find. They're just, they don't do enough uh, hit power. They don't have enough, uh, what is it, surface area on them, so they don't really hit as hard. But um, these flat tips, we, uh, I shot, oh my god, I don't even know how many. Probably like 15 chipmunks, or gray squirrels and red squirrels and chipmunks. Um, and every time you hit them with one of these things in any spot, you just, they don't even move. Yeah, they just, you just hear the whap, and they don't even move. Especially out of that Crossman G1. Um, but if you're looking for an inexpensive gun to go and just plink around with, uh, I'd recommend the G1. I spent 99, it was like 90 bucks, 99 dollars, something like that. Um, I mean, the airsoft gun he originally bought me for my birthday was 117, and we went and got that instead um, for 100. So, I mean, great buy. We got it at Dick Sporting Goods. Uh, but, I mean, 40 squirrels in two days is kind of impressive. I mean, it wasn't just me. It was a couple kids. They had 22s and stuff and stuff. 40 squirrels. I mean, I shot one or a couple of these because we finally, we sighted it in with the uh, standard because I bought like they're the cheapest, the 500 count uh, Crossman hunting tips. And uh, we sighted in with that and um, and we started just shooting random. We shot PBA ammo and stuff. And, I mean, we were hitting things, but it just wasn't putting them down. They just passed. We get passed through shots and then they run into a hole or whatever. They run up the tree you wouldn't find them again. But with these flat tips, you hit them anywhere and they just drop. I just dropped it. That's how deadly they are. They just drop things in themselves. But, um, yeah, those, I, for hunting, I'd, I'd use those competition tips. I wouldn't waste my time. You really don't really care unless you shoot a big game. You really don't need penetration. You need knockdown power. Sorry. I had to vape a little bit there. Um, it gets me all excited. So, uh, that's my little review of the Crossman. I mean, it's an amazing gun. I got it right here for you. Get a better look at her. 
break a barrel and cocking efforts like 30 pounds you can almost do it one-handed nice little center point scope accurate as a son of a bitch once we set it in for those flat tips oh my god i shot so much shit that day but so there you have it the palmer tips are pretty good um we shot uh what we shoot we shot we shot some tomatoes today some zucchini we some tomatoes. zucchini a couple tomatoes uh the zucchini we actually cut open with a machete that i bought and we found the polymer tip the the plastic polymer end came off and was somewhere else in the zucchini and then we found the actual polymer tip mushroomed up it actually mushroomed up in the zucchini and it was just obliterated it put a huge hole um but so didn't the flat tip flat tip that's two videos you shit in jesus christ ah, taco, oh, God. Bell. taco bell Whew. so i would recommend i mean they put a lot of ammo on the market of uh, different tips, different weights, and those flat tips right there do work. So that's gonna be my recommendation. Would be a cheap little gun. I mean, you don't really need a whole lot. It makes the whole hunting thing fun. I mean, we went for years just blasting anything we saw with uh, twelve gauges, with like skeet loads, turkey loads, pretty much anything we had in the house. Not fun. It's just not fun. You find pieces of them here, pieces of them. It's not fair. This thing, you can sneak around the woods, you see something move, you scope in with it, and you pluck it off. So, I actually shot one with a flat tip, looking right at me. Big old gray, shot him right in the face, and it came out his ass. Think about that. Shot him right underneath, like right in the chest. Clean through with a flat tip. You oh my, didn't even move. He was sitting on his hole. He didn't, didn't go anywhere. He was sitting on top of it. So, that would be uh, my recommendation. For you guys, and I, I let you guys know that the Crossman, for being a hundred dollar gun, I mean you get the one of those what is it a Crossman Pump Master Daisy Pump Master eight seventies or whatever, we've had a few of those. They just I mean they got the knockdown power, but they're just shit guns. Get a brake barrel. Don't waste your time with those. Maybe for your first gun, I mean even that they're they're sixty bucks anyway. Why bother? Um, so yeah, that's my little uh little uh, let you know what's good. And again, weird ribs. Check it out. Subscribe. I got good shits.